Oh, sup? <laughs> what is going on? Welcome back to another video. Uh, today's video, I am going to do something that has been recommended to me a few times. It's something I never thought I sort of could or should do until now. It's, uh, it's, a, it's a trivia quiz of some sort. It's an NFL trivia quiz or American football. So I'm going to do one of these on American football and then I'm going to do one on rugby. You guys know I come here as a rugby player, 20 years of experience. I see a whole lot of similarities between the game of rugby and American football. That's why I really have, you know, uh, latched onto American football and tried to delve really, really deep and, and learn as much as possible in the last few months, which has been great. Uh, but now it's about time I test myself. So the first test we're going to do is some sort of NFL trivia quiz. I'm not sure exactly what the best one might be, but what I am going to do is get the screen recorder going and we're going to have a quick look. The quicker you're here, the faster you go. That's why where I come from, the only thing we know is... Okay, so, uh, American football trivia. All the tests. Here we go, allthetest.com. History of American football. This is a quiz for only the true football fans. How much do you know about the history of the NFL? This is a quiz to test your knowledge about the NFL draft with varying questions from 2000 to 2017. NFL history, a quiz about your knowledge of past Super Bowls, athletes, etc. You know what? Let's do that one. Let's go. What year was the NFL founded? The NFL was founded um, uh, in 1960. Which team won the first Super Bowl? That was the Green Bay Packers. Which quarterback currently has the most playoff wins in his career? I would have to say Tom Brady. What is the name of the trophy teams get when they win the Super Bowl? The Vince Lombardi Trophy. Where was the NFL founded? I believe it was Canton, Ohio, but the only reason I say that is because the Hall of Fame's there. Who is the owner of the New England Patriots? It's not Bill Belichick, it's not Tom Brady. I believe it's Robert Kraft. Which one is not a football team? The Iowa Red Stars. How many points do teams get when they score a touchdown? Six. Where does the Super Bowl take place? <laughs> Your mum. No one knows until it's announced. What do teams usually do on the fourth down? They punt or field goal. Let's see what we got. I'm feeling confident. 9 out of 10 questions! Boom! That's above average. Which one did I get wrong? I got the first one wrong. 1920. So I was comp oh, Yeah, I got confused. When was the Super Bowl founded? Was around about 1960, not when the NFL was founded. Okay! 9 out of 10. Not bad at all. Let's try another one. Let's try another. This is a quiz for only the true football fans. All right, let's do it. How many rushes rush for 2,000 or more yards in a single season? Six. No, seven. Next question. What were the Baltimore Ravens called before they were the Baltimore Ravens? They were called the Baltimore Colts. I learned that just recently. What team has won the most Super Bowls? Um, geez, that's a good question. I think the Steelers have six. Patriots have won six in the last 18. The Cowboys have a, a fair few. Look, I'm going to go the Cowboys. That's a guess. How many Super Bowls have the Pittsburgh Steelers won? I believe, I believe it is six. I'm not going to cheat. I'm going to go six. It's either five or six, I think. What NFL running back has rushed for the most rushing yards in a single game? Hmm. 
I should know this. Who's got... Has anyone rushed for 300 yards? I would say it's got to be Barry Sanders. What is the most yards any, rush, any running back has rushed for in a single game? I don't think it's 300 and something. I believe it's 296. What were the Tennessee Titans called before they moved to Tennessee? They were called the Houston Oilers. Who holds the fourth greatest regular season passing touchdowns record? Okay, the fourth greatest. Jeez, look at these legends. This is a complete guess, but I would have to say Drew Brees. How many passing touchdowns in a single season does the third highest ranking player have? This is a complete guess, 49. Who holds the record for most rushing touchdowns in a single season? That would have to be Ladanian Tomlinson. What do we got? Oh, five out of ten. Well, it's above average. It's above average. Okay, what do we got here? What? The right answer is Cleveland Browns. Really? Okay. Which team has won the most Super Bowls? What did I say? The Packers. It's the Steelers. Okay. How many Super Bowls have the Pittsburgh Steelers won? Six. Thank God I got that right. Adrian Peterson had the most rushing yards in a single game. And it was 296. At least we got that right. The Oilers. Yes. Dan Marino has the fourth highest regular season passing touchdown record. And the third highest ranking player in passing touchdowns in a single season is 48. Who holds the record for the most rushing touchdowns in a single season? Daniel Thompson. Okay, I did all right. I think I did okay. We're going to finish this off with one more. One more. And we're going to have to go back, 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 back. How much do you know about the history of the NFL? Let's do it. What was the original name of NFL when it was founded? It was called the National Football Association. What was the original name of the Chicago Bears? Jeez, this is a this is a hard one. I'm gonna go. I believe it's a trick question. I'm going to go Canton Bulldogs. Which team did not play in the All-American Football Conference? A rival league to the NFL from 46 to 49. 49ers? <laughs> in 34, Dick Richards produced and purchased an existing team and moved them to Detroit and named them the Lions. What was the name of the team he purchased? I have... I have heard this before. It was... Uh, I believe it was... Um, well, actually, no, I have no idea. <laughs> Portsmouth Spartans. Which NFL player went on to become a Supreme Court Justice? I've heard this before. I believe he was on the top 100 players of all time. And I also believe his name was Don Hudson. Which player won the first Heisman Trophy and also became the first player ever drafted in the NFL? Well, this is a complete guess, and I'm going to go... Tuffy. No, that sound. Nah. Tuffy? Jay? Uh, yeah, we'll stick with that. Gut instincts. Johnny Unitas was cut by which team before joining the Baltimore Colts? I have no idea. <laughs> this is out of my league. What city was the first home of the Cardinals? St. Louis. During World War II, which NFL teams did not merge with another team because of poor finances? Fucking hell, I have no idea. Which NFL teams did not merge with another team? Can you... Oh, which NFL team did not merge? 
Chicago Cardinals, Lincoln. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go the Steelers. Which of the following players start at quarterback for the Cleveland Browns in the 40s and 50s? The only one I recognize there is Otto Graham. We're gonna have to go him. True or false, in addition to being a Major League Baseball team, the Brooklyn Dodgers were an NFL team? No, I believe the Yankees used to be a football team. So we're gonna go f false. How can you go maybe? <laughs> Which franchise relocated to another city the year after winning an NFL championship? I believe that was the Baltimore Colts. Which current NFA, NFA, AFC team never played in the AFL during the 60s? Miami. During the 1960s, the NFL added four expansion teams. Which of the following was not one of them? Mmm, Dallas. During the 1950s, Lombardi and Tom Landry were offensive coordinator and defense coordinator, respectively, for the New York Giants. Who was the head coach? Vince Lombardi was an assistant? Who was the head coach? Oh my god, I have no idea. Paul Brown. Prior to being named Washington Redskins head coach in 1971, which team did George Allen coach? Sorry guys, I'm really letting you down here. I'm gonna go the Raiders. Which team did Vince Lombardi coach after leaving the Green Bay Packers? Okay. I should know this, man. I, I, I should. I should. Well, really, I shouldn't, because I actually haven't done a video on them yet. So we're gonna go the Cleveland Browns. Joe Namath, Joe Willie Namath, began his career in the AFL with the New York Jets. In addition to the Jets, which NFL team drafted Namath? I did... I did do a video on Joe Namath. He was number 100 on the top 100 greatest players of all time. And I believe he was drafted by... <laughs> I don't know. St. Louis. In 1960, the Houston Oilers defeated the Los Angeles Chargers in the first AFL championship game. Who was the starting quarterback for the Oilers? Jack Kemp. It's got to be Jack. It's got to be. All right, guys, that was three quizzes. The first one, we got nine out of ten. The second, we got five out of ten. And the third, I don't even want to look. What is it? You did okay. You did okay, but you're definitely not an expert. Ah, oh, three out of 20. I had no idea. I had no idea. Which ones did I get right? Portsmouth Spartans. Oh, well, that was a complete guess. Otto Graham. Well, that was a guess too. It was the only name I recognised. And Joe Namath was drafted by the St. Louis Cardinals in addition to the Jets. Well, I can't really say I knew that for sure. That was a bit of a guess too. That was a terrible quiz, wasn't it? Terrible. I think it's, it's definitely too late in my... Too late in, uh, in history for, for me. Look guys, I hope you enjoyed that. I'm gonna do some more, right? I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna seek out an NFL quiz, um, possibly only covering the last 10 or 20 years, then I might have a chance. So stay tuned for that. The next one's actually gonna be a rugby quiz. And if I don't do well on that, there's problems because I call myself a rugby player, don't I? So if you, if you, have, if you have ever questioned my authority calling myself a rugby player, I guess we're going to find out exactly, you know, how good I am in the next video. So stick around. If you have enjoyed this one, hit the like button, subscribe for more, and I'll see you soon. Peace out.